Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Wish, on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we completed our trek up the uh, Tombstone Trail in order to get the legendary wand uh, Morn Star, which is pretty awesome looking actually, and it's got good stats. And, but it's not fully powered up because the three stones that are supposed to be in there were taken away, so. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So now we gotta go find a sky pirate named Kublai in order to well, find a map to where those stones are located so we can power up the wand. Um, we still can't open the purple treasure chests at the moment with this Mornstar wand. Uh, once we get the three stones and uh, power up the wand, um, spoiler alert, we're gonna power up the wand of the three stones, uh, then we can open up the um, purple treasure chests. But for now, we're gonna go do some side quests. Yeah. We got a rather decent chunk of side quests to do, so let's start here in Hamelin. We also got a uh, new battle uh, series over at the Solosseum, and we can also go gambling, but uh, we're probably going to make those in the next episode, just from the sheer amount of side quests we got right now. So let's start with this guy. Oh, notice how everyone no longer has to wear their outfits all the, all the time? Uh, seems like most people uh, still putz around in the... Uh, the suits, but they all took off their masks. So that's nice. Oi, you in the cape. Just where in the world do you come from? M me, sir? Where do I come from? Uh, well, you see, the thing is... Can't give me a straight answer, eh? I've got it. You're a spy, aren't you? Huh? A spy? No, sir. That's not it at all. That's quite enough of your back chat. I know a spy when I smell one. Hold on. You're another one, aren't you? I've uncovered a whole spy ring. You're accusing the Lord High Lord of the Fairies of being a spy, a lovable, char lovable character like me. Enough of your chatter. You're not from Hamlin, therefore you're a spy. End of bleeding story. Oh, Nickers, either this guard's brokenhearted or I'm flipping spy. The, sp the suspicious so-and-so's lost his belief in people, ain't it? If we don't do something, we'll be in a proper pickle. Alright, so we gotta go find this guy belief. Jeepers, what if he stops letting people through the gate? We have to find him some belief. Yeah, this guy's a menace. Kinda. I didn't notice how she just sat there and uh, watched us get reamed by that guy. Thanks, appreciate that. You're a real friend. Oh, by the way, let's check out that uh, noble attire that we got from the uh, boss. Uh, let's see, can we give it to you? We can, but it's, uh, you lose the, what is it, the, the wind protection again and the magic protection, so, oh well. It's not bad, but you know what, it probably, actually, is it a, uh, depending on if it's a, um, Alchemy and Greed, I might just sell it. Nope, neither the Misty Shroud that makes it easier to evade attacks, or that's a uh, Alchemy and Greed. I'll just uh, toss those in the nearest store, get some moolah out of it, why not? But then again, uh, our, our money troubles are going to be over uh, very soon, actually, so I'm not too worried. Actually, you know what? Yeah, our money troubles aren't going to be lasting too much longer, so... Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Actually, while I'm here, in preparation for something we're going to be doing, let's make a few uh, cakes here um, of the... Let's see, I want to make some carrot cakes and some carnation cakes. Let's see, I need some crunchy carrots, though. Let's see, do you have any? You have crunchy carrots. Okay, let's grab ten. Why not? All right, and now let's go ahead and let's see carrots. I guess we can make three. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, we need one more to make four, so let's do that. There we go. We don't need these right away, but we are going to be using them in the reasonably near future. And now let's make two carnation cakes. I think you only need one, but might as well make two. And let me, let me check my items real fast to make sure I have something that I need. Uh, let's see, we got three sprockets. Okay, that, that's what we need. Um, we have ember stones. Okay, we have most of the stuff that we need, I think. Alright, cool, yo. And one other thing I want to do is... 
go to the familiar tree. I should have done this when I was over there, but I wasn't thinking about it just then. And we want to take out a few familiars for uh, later. Alright, drop off. Uh, let's see, let's drop off you guys. You're not even equipped with anything, anything dude. Alright, good for you. I wish you could, like, find familiars that have um, items equipped by, like, uh, have, a, have like a small percentage to have like a rare item. That'd be, that'd be a nice little touch. You know like how uh, Pokemon have like their uh, chance to have a held item or something like that? Well these guys could have like a na piece of natural equipment or something like that. Okay, I want a, uh, a nap cap in my party. Not that we're going to use them, I just need them in the party. And then, do I have them? Uh, I don't have them. Um... Uh... We need to get one of those uh, urn guys from the sea, those uh, potties. But we don't have one yet. Okay, we'll catch one eventually off screen, so. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, we got two pieces of heart to grab. I think one of these is gonna be belief. Oh yeah, we can also go back to uh, Old Father Oak now, so we're going to be doing that too. Probably not going to be a whole lot of battles in this episode, if any. There's going to be a whole lot of talking and side quests. I'll probably not make it as long as I did last episode, because that was uh, a bit too much, but either way. Developing new technology is far from easy, but it is deeply rewarding. Gee, it sure sounds like you love what you do. What are you working on right now? Well, might you ask? I'm afraid I cannot work at present. Huh? Why not? It's my chief engineer. He came into the laboratory the other day and told us that he decided to abandon his research for good. What would make him do something like that? I have not the faintest idea, but I'm sure it will all work out in the end. He was always a man of vision, and that can't change overnight. Someday he will dust off his lab coat and return to his research. Gee, Mr. Drippy, he sure does have a lot of belief in his boss. You're spot on there, Ollie boy. You couldn't do us a bit of a favor, could you? A favor, you say? Well, I don't see why not. Tell me what I can do for you. We'd like you to share your belief with others. Don't worry, it's not as weird as it sounds. Just hold still for a moment. Alrighty. And there was our first piece of belief for that guy. I think we actually deal with his boss in a side quest. I think we do, actually. I'm not sure if it's right now. Actually, it might be right now. But we do, uh... Have somebody that lost their flair for invention. Oh, I feel rather peculiar. Thank you very much. I hope you get back to work soon. I have no doubt I should be back to the work before long. Back, not to back to the work, but back to work. Anyways, uh, oh, fella, where'd you go, buddy? You are right up the stairs here. Okay, now that we have travel, makes going around places, collecting, uh, heart pieces, and doing side quests much easier. Now we gotta talk to him, Nate. Come on, Ollie boy, you know the drill, blah, blah, blah. Give him belief back, blah, blah. I still say it looks like those damn uh, energy swords from Halo. Not that I've actually played much of Halo, because I'm not really a first-person shooter type of guy. I'm thinking about doing a few first-person shooters uh, on the channel. Not a whole lot, but a couple. Um, one that I've been wanting to do is uh, Bioshock, mainly because I really love the atmosphere and the story. And uh, I've watched a few LPs of... Uh, I've watched ALP of the first game, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm thinking maybe I'll give it a shot and see how it works out. Obviously, I wouldn't be great at it, but I would love to try. Hmm, I, I say, what in the world have I been doing? Nito, looks like you're back to normal. I'm sorry I doubted your intentions. I don't know what came over me. By way of apology, I'd like to give you this. Ooh, three slices of game pie and 500 guilders. Very nice. Yeah, we're going to be getting a ton of stamps. I think we should be able to fill out at least three cards, maybe four. It'll be a while, or it'll be a lot of stuff to get. Let's see, how many do we have um, now, anyways? Just one. And by the way, thanks for the tip if, or if we go to these uh, things right here. We can press select and show which ones we're on. And if we go to the bounty hunts, we're good. We can press select to show which ones we're on, which ones are completed, or all of them. So yeah, that's a, that's a rather nice little uh, thing that I wasn't aware of. So there we go. Oh, we, we got to find this guy, Courage, don't we? And we're finally going to get this guy his uh, smiles. So that would be nice. Actually, hang on. Um... All right, enough dilly-dallying around. 
Thanks again for the alchemy recipes, bud. I do appreciate it. Let's see, our next gentleman is right around the corner. Okay. I think I remember a little bit about this guy. I think his wife kicked him out of the house or something like that for the day. I found myself in my wife's bad books, I'm afraid. She lost her temper and threw me out of the house. Yep, that's this guy. Jeepers, that's no good. What made her lose her temper? Well, for years we have always celebrated our wedding anniversary together, just the two of us. But this year I had to work, and she didn't like that one little bit. So here I am, out on the street. Trouble in paradise, seems like. Oh, it's nothing serious. It will all blow over. She's a bit sad about spending her anniversary apart, but I don't think she's really angry. She's a wonderful wife, even if she sometimes bleeds, even if she sometimes has trouble expressing her feelings. Look, the locket is glowing. Crikey, I think we found ourselves a heart full to the brim with belief. Sorry to trouble you, mister, but I was wondering if we could ask you a favor. A favor, you say? Certainly. Why not? Now that I'm out on the street, I have precious little else to do. Poor guy. He's bored. What was I going to say? Uh, I was going to say something about this guy. Oh, I was going to say, Hamlet doesn't seem like it'd be a bad place to be homeless in. I mean, you got protection from all the elements, like the wind and the rain and stuff like that. It seems like it'd be a reasonably warm, even temperature all around. Not super hot, not super cold. And, I mean, sure, it'd be, it'd be irritating, but you'd still be reasonably well cared for from that regard, at least. I say, are you some sort of wizard? You think? Well, whether you are or not, you've made my heart feel light as a feather. Shucks. Thanks, guy. I appreciate the kind words. All right, who we got down here? We got... Oh, yeah, all these guys. Um, I think one of these guys is uh, still waiting for his... Not you again, dude. You know what? We're going to wait. Actually, you know what? I do want to go back to... I, I, I should have got those damn um, journal entries. That, or not journal entries. Uh... Ta side quest entries at the um, at the uh, Swift Solutions. I know I was forgetting something. I just wasn't sure what. And of course, I don't have to do it this way. It's just the way I prefer to do it. I like being able to look over everything. Actually, I think his diary is easy to find around here this time. But again, they're always really easy to find if you know where to look. Alright, let's see. Reports that a Hamlin shop worker is being constantly reprimanded by his employer. So that guy looks like he might need a dose of uh, kindness. Hamlin researcher appears to be in very little spirits. Yeah, that's the guy that uh, kicks everyone out of the office because he lost his will to research, I think. Uh, let's see. Ding Dong Dell dwelling girl appears to have undergone a sudden change in disp disposition. I'm not sure if we've uh, dealt with this one yet. I think we might have, actually. Let's see, 15. Actually. Okay, let's just uh, check in there, I guess. Uh, hang on, I keep turning off the mini-map. I think we might have... Uh... Nope, we haven't done it yet. Okay. Alright, so anyways. Yeah, this is... Uh, let's see, 16. Two Ding Dong Dale soldiers appear to be having an impassionate, impassioned debate about something. Okay, so Ding Dong Dale is going to be revisited. A young Mamuni man appears to be very anxious indeed. What could possibly be troubling him? Alrighty. Two brothers from Castaway Cove appear to be having a rather ugly argument. Apparently some forest dwellers in the southeastern part of the shipwrecked shore are amazing at alchemy. This one is hard to do right now, but we can do it, so we're going to do it. A man visiting Hamlin appears to have lost something important. Yeah, I know what you lost, you little rat bastard. Oh well, anyways, uh, that's everything, right? All right. All right, let's see. No bounties to claim. Bounty hunts. Causing a stink. Ghostly Gorge Atumnia. A gigantic gaseous monster is producing an odor that is simply unbearable. Something must be done. Okay. Neato. And look at all those stamps we get. Yeah, all these bounties. Tons of stamps. Back madder than ever. Halfway up Old Smokey. Yet another monster is trying to get old Smokey to blow a stop. It must be dealt with, otherwise Alma Moon is done for. Okay, bring your water dudes and she shouldn't be that bad. I think she looks exactly the same, actually. Just a lot more HP and stronger. 
South of the den of the sky part, Summerlands. A huge turtle has made Skull Mouth in his home. Best deal with it now before it moves on. Yeah, another six, uh... Six stamps. Let's see. If these all give six, then that's, uh... That's 24 stamps just for these bounty hunts. Near Russia Isle, Western Summerlands. A pesky sea creature keeps splashing mer merchants' ships, and the water is ruining their cargoes. Something must be done. Okay. So, yeah, that's, a. Uh, Two and a half, um, two and a half stamp cards just from that. Let's let's see how many stamps we're gonna get total out of this. Actually, might as well. All right, let's see. So twenty-four, and then okay, uh, twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty-two, thirty-four, or no, twenty-nine, uh, 52, 57, we're going to get a total of 57 stamps, and we're halfway, we only need four more for that, so, uh, yeah, we're going to have another six, uh, another six, uh, stamps to spend, spend around here, so, we able to get, uh, Jack-O-Lantern and, um, uh, Jackpot 2, so that's pretty nice, actually. Actually, I think there might be one of these that we can't complete. We might miss in, like, one total piece of heart or something like that. So we might not be able to get both of them, but we'll be able to get one of them at least. Yeah, I, th I think we might be, like, one stamp shy or something. Unless they give us extras, which they might. But either way, we'll be able to get a lot done. Oh, look at the little doggy. Yeah, Hamlet would not Hamlet would not be a hard uh, a bad place to be homeless in. I mean, it's you, if you'd rather not be homeless in the first place, but if you had to choose some place around here, this wouldn't be a bad place. Actually, I think uh, uh, Ding Dong Dell might be a better place because it seems like it's a reasonable climate over there. Uh, there's areas to uh, shelter from like the wind and the rain. If you really got bad, you could go into the sewers, which are surprisingly well kept. Uh, there's fish. Probably in the little uh, in the little lakes they have around there. There's flat, fresh water, so actually pretty much any place here. Would, yeah, I think Alma Moon would be the worst place. And again, Castaway Cove would also be rather nice. Anyways, I say it's you, dear boy. Feels like an absolute age since our jaunt to that delightful fairy island. What? You have impeccable timing, you know. Uh, do we? Ted Gilder says his lost his flip and diary again. But but how? Looks like I won that little bet out, don't it, Ollie boy? Careless so and so. I am most dreadfully ashamed. There I was, merrily pootling along the open road, when some loutish monsters assailed me. I took fright and fled to the city nearest Alpha's of civilization I could find, and then you thought you'd write all about it in your precious diary only to find the thing had gone missing again, am I right? Precisely. My gift to literature had vanished once again. But you'll help me find it, won't you, old bean? I don't suppose I have much choice in the matter, do I? Oh well. Well, I guess we can help you find it again, mister. You will? Oh, I say, that really is awfully good of you. Hold on, Mun. If you were being chased by monsters, you could have dropped it just about flipping anywhere. Well, I think I can enlighten you as to my general locale at the time of the incident. I had happened upon the most intriguing little mine. Overcome by curiosity, I couldn't help but pop it in for a quick poke around, and that's when the beasts arrived. So you got surrounded by monsters. Yes, that's about the size of it. So if I were to hazard a guess, I would say the dire is on the railway, railway, railway tracks near the mine's entrance. So it's on some railroad tracks near the entrance to a mine. Got it. I really am most grateful, dear boy. No problem, sir. Okay, I think this is a guy that's trying to profess his love, right? Uh, do we have any courage? Not yet. Okay, so we'll come back to you. But there is one more guy down there. And then we'll be done. I think this is the guy that, uh, the inventor fellow. I think. Confound it. I am coming to the end of my tether. What's the matter, sir? You don't look too happy. I devote my every waking hour to inventing new machines, to doing my bit to hasten the majestic march of progress. I know there are limits to what one man can achieve, but I simply cannot trust my feckless assistance. You can't do it all on your own, sir. You need other people to help you. If only I could afford that luxury. If I were to leave my assistants to their own devices, they would steal my data and sell it to the highest bidder. Gee, I feel kind of sorry for those assistants of his. If only I could convince them to give them a chance. Save your breath, Ollie boy. This fellow's here broken. This fellow here is broken-hearted in his belief. That's in short supply. 
If we don't help him out, he'll go on treating his poor sisters like dirt and scupper his research into the bargain. Luckily, we happen to have a spare bit of a uh, belief for this fellow. Come on, Mr. Drippy, let's help him get back his research back on track. And I think we got... There we go. Fork it over. See, what are the other two we have right now? Restraint and Enthusiasm. All right. Excuse me. Hmm, I must have been daydreaming. How could I when there was research to be done? I can't leave it all to my faithful assistants. Well, sir, it looks like you've got your belief back. My memory is rather hazy, but I feel certain that you've done something important for me. I must show my gratitude, if you would do me the honor of accepting this small token. Ooh, ice creams. And a few stamps, random ass. Alright, now let's uh, get out of here and see if we can't find uh, the guy's diary. We're not going to return it to him right away because we're going to go grab the uh, courage for uh, for lover boy there. But uh, we'll get to it eventually. We might as well grab some of these uh, harvest points while we're here. Yeah, we don't have to sail around as much now. I and mean, we're still going to have to use the ship for some stuff. And we'll probably end up using it either in this episode or next episode for a little bit of side questing. But for the most part, we can just travel everywhere. Uh, I don't think I care about that rumble nut down by the uh, down by the village people. All right, so if I remember correctly, this guy's diary is over here, I think. I think. There we go. Look, Mr. Drippy, it's that gentleman's diary. What the heck was he thinking, hanging about on these tracks by here? I'm sure was lucky we found it, huh? Come on, let's go give it back. Yeah, if you'd actually dropped it, like, uh, in a panic, that would have been kind of bastardly, because it would be, like, uh, you know, down there somewhere, and, yeah, I'm not getting that back for you, bud. Sorry. I don't know if anybody at the, uh, Fairylands has anything to, um, contribute, but we can check. Yeah, right. so let's travel to the Fairylands and see if they have anything. Um, I know they don't have any side quests, but they might have some pieces of heart, which would be nice. But they might not. I don't know. I don't have everything around here memorized. Okay, you still need kindness. Oh, somebody does have uh, something right there. All right, come here, fella. Better not be one of the ones that I already have. Oh, it must be this guy. I was, I'd say it's probably not the boutique lady. <sighs> Feels like there's less and less of us a lot every year. Tragic it is. What am I saying? They'll come back. If I don't believe them, if I don't believe that, who will, eh? I ain't giving up just yet. Boy, you sure do seem determined, Mr. Fairy. What is it that you won't give up on? Eh? Who are you? Who are you, who are you when you're at home? Bah, I don't suppose it matters. Let me explain. You've heard there's less fairies these days than there used to be in it. Sure, I don't know what, I don't know the exact details, but I think I heard that they went to another world or something. They're as well informed you are. Not bad for Lickley. It's because it's hard, because it's harder to live by here in this world than it used to be. There's all creatures gone nuts and bad vibes in that. Terrible it is. Ain't it though? Tries the patience something rotten. But I ain't giving up on our world just yet. One day peace will return, and the fairies will fill the forests and fields once more. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that's some real strong belief, huh? Leave this one to me, Ollie boy. Oi, you. Guess I'll end your belief, will ya? A bit of my belief. Oh, the old take heart trick, is it? That's the one. Ollie boy here might look a li might look like a lickly, but he's actually sort of a wizard. Sort of. Core. I ain't seen a wizard in donkey's ears. Go on, then. Help yourself, lad. Thanks. Well, he's awfully, uh, generous. Don't worry, we will actually get some other stuff besides belief. Just, uh, well, it's after a new after a new uh, piece available, so it's going to be in abundance. Alright, so let's travel to the Deep Dark Wood and talk to uh, Old Father Oak. Ah, uh, so much easier to just teleport back here. And by the way, if you look at the uh, map now, you'll notice that the ship is at the nearest dock. Just like I said, so that's really nice. 
Yeah, you travel anywhere you want, and it'll just follow you around like a little lost puppy dog. I mean, you might still have to do a little bit of legging to get to it, but eh. You'll live. Alrighty, let's see. Daddy-O's, you're somewhere down here. Now at least we're getting left. Yeah, I left. Okay, good. It is left. I always forget. Plus, that's kind of an easy turn to miss, in my opinion. Hello, Oki. If it ain't Professor Oak. Professor Oak, the duck-billed tree. Hello, old father Oak. Oh, here you are again. How very nice it is to see you, young man. And tell you ferrying on your adventure, hmm? Tell me all about it. Ho oh, ho ho, so you have been to Hamelin, and not only there, but to the past also. You have traveled far, little ones. When I was but a sapling, I visited a tummy of myself. But in those days, Hamelin was no great city. It could hardly even be called a village. Huh? You mean you were once a traveler like us, old father Oak? Indeed I was. It must be, oh, centuries ago now, but the telling stone and I still remember it fondly. Blimey, not even I knew that. Well, it has been many years since I spoke of it, but the tale of our travels is an important part of the wizard's companion. Would you like to read it? Ooh, we get uh, the greatest tree in the deep dark wood. The tree in the stone. Okay, the tree in the stone, not the greatest tree. Well, we can't exactly say no now, can we? Ho ho ho, I do apologize. It was talking of your travels. It made me nostalgic. Don't worry, old father. Oh, we'll keep coming here and telling you our story. Ho ho ho, how very kind of you. Then hoping your story to continue is the least I can do. And yeah, we get a healing tear gem. Very nice. I look forward to hearing the next chapter of your tale. Okay, now the uh, healing tear gem, that's missable. Like, if you come back, like, after a different storyline uh, development, and uh, it'll till it no longer give it to you. But the oh, or the, the, the page, the storybook page, uh, even if you do miss it right now, um, he'll still give it to you next time that you come and talk to him. So you could not talk to him the entire game, come back to him uh, before the final boss, talk to him, and he'll still give you that uh, that uh, page if you don't have it already. So you don't got to worry about missing that. I don't know why I did just travel out of there. Oh well. Alright. Two ding dong dell it is. Alright, what kind of goodies do we got hidden away in here now? Ooh, there's a piece of something right there. And they're probably all in the other section of town, aren't they? Yeah. So you guys aren't the ones we need to talk to. I guess everyone's, uh... Oh, this is the little girl. Huh. Tee hee hee, he looks much healthier now. Not long until he's all better. But I have to keep it a secret from everybody until then. What are you doing here? Eek, you gave me a fright. It, it's a secret. What was What I was saying just then, alright? Huh? What was? Sorry, I wasn't listening. What's the secret? Um, oh, well, you see, I found this poorly bartender, and I've been looking after him and keeping it secret from everybody. A bartender? That's some kind of critter, huh? Isn't that a little dangerous? He's not dangerous. He's a good little lambkin. He was frightened of me at first, but now we're best friends. Crikey, fancy making friends with a wild beast. There's not there's not many that have the knack for that. She might grow up to be a monster tamer like uh, Esther. But there's kind, eh? Taking care of his wounds and everything. Sure is. She must have a heart just full of kindness. You'll keep it secret, won't you? Mummy will be so angry if she finds out. Sure we will. We have a favor to ask you too, okay? Alright, what is it? Could you hold real still for just one second? Oh sure, don't even tell her what you're doing. Just yank it away, huh? Oh well. Ah, the gift of generosity. The fuzzy feeling inside. Fuzzy like a kitten until it t takes its claws out and scratches you across the eyeball. Ooh, my chest feels all light. Right, I better go and look after my little lampkin. She has no idea. She's clueless. Okay, while we're here, actually, um, do I have them already? Let's go ahead and pick up uh, two well-worn swords at the uh, shop here. We're going to need those for a side quest later. Cool. 
kind of a side quest. Eh, let's get three just to make sure. And now let's go to the second part of Hamlin and see what everything's up. Everyone's uh, all doing up there. We're probably gonna do all these uh, the emotion quests first, and then do all the stuff like uh, the bounty hunts. Get all these out of the way. Hello, kitty. You still have your earring? Ah, I see somebody off to our left. Very nice. Hello. Uh, I hope he comes home soon. Is everything okay, ma'am? You look sort of distracted. Oh, well, it's my husband, you see. He's an explorer. He often goes away for months on end, and this time he's gone somewhere very dangerous. I haven't heard from him in two years. Jeepers. Two whole years. Oh, there's lonely. But I'm not worried. He's the greatest explorer in the world, after all. No matter what happens, we'll always find his way home to me. You really believe in your husband, huh? You can say that again. What, what a crack it misses. You're my kind of wife, you are. Full to the brim with belief. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure I'll hear that he's discovered a whole new continent any day now. Uh, say, ma'am, we have a favor to ask. Would you mind? Favor? What kind of favor? You sure be helping us an awful lot if you let us borrow some of your belief. I think I have some, though. By all means, that sounds like fun. Yeah, we already got it right. All right, we'll uh, find someone else in need here. Uh, no one else to give our... Uh, or take any emotions from. Oh well. Alright, guard. How you doing? I'm just not cut out for monster hunting. Maybe it's time I called it a day. The soldier's life just isn't for me anymore. But Sergeant, why would you say such a thing all of a sudden? Is everything okay? It's the Sergeant. He suddenly started talking about giving up soldiering. I don't just have any fight left in me. And the beasts. They scare me. Ah, he's gonna need some courage, ain't he? Don't say that. What has happened to you? You used to be the bravest of us all. Bravest of us all. Huh? Say, Mr. Dipper, you don't think a sergeant's lost his courage, do you? He certainly seems brokenhearted, ain't it? What do you want to do about it, Ollie boy? I think I have a dab of courage in here. Leave it to us. The sergeant will be a brave soldier once again. Or again soon, I promise. Do you really think you could help him? No sweat, man. We'll go grab a bit of courage and be back before you know it. Okay, uh, I don't have any on me. Okay. Okay, let's see what, uh, these guys want. Oh, the kitty looks kind of sad. Hmm, school again. How perfectly boring. What's wrong? You know, every kid has to go to school, right? But it's such an awful lot of work. I, ca I just can't see the purpose of it all. Whatever's wrong with me, I wonder. Until yesterday, I loved going to school and playing with the other children. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got ourselves a broken-hearted little lady. Really? You think she's broken-hearted? Do I ever. Lacking enthusiasm she is, or I'm not tall and handsome. Yeah, she must not be lacking enthusiasm there, drippy boy. Well, Ollie, are you going to help her in or what? Do I have enthusiasm? Her friends sure must be worried about her, huh? And she can't go on cutting class. We have to do something. And this is enthusiasm, honey. Time for you, my lad. Get to it. Okay. So, oh, we do have it. Okay. Why couldn't we uh, do this one earlier in the game when we first got enthusiasm? Eh. Oh, well. That was easy. Hmm, what time is it? Oh no, I'm going to be late. How perfectly terrible. Then you should get going. I bet your friends can't wait to see you at school. I will. Thank you, boy. Oh, here. It's a little present to say thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, chocolate bonbons. Well, you can go to school now, right? Ooh, we got a bonus stamp. Very nice. Alright, I think that's pretty much uh, everything here. Um, I want to go check Swift Solutions real fast, just for something. I don't think anything's going to be there, but I just want to make sure. And then we'll head out to, uh, we'll go back to the fairy, fairy grounds and, uh, toss that guy some kindness real fast. And then we'll go out of the moon and cast away Cove, and we should be able to, we should be able to knock everything out, I hope. Might be a slightly extended episode, but nowhere near as long as yesterday. Let's see where he got all these. 
Alright, we got all these. Actually, hang on. Alright, we're out of here. Alright. Let's, uh, travel to... Fairy ground. Hello, ma'am. Might as well grab that harvest point while we're here, too. Is that bird ever gonna go anywhere? It's not like we need him anymore. And I thought he said he couldn't wait to get away from these loons. Alright, bud. We've already, uh, talked to you, so just, uh, take your kindness and start being happy. Huh? What the? Was he not broken hearted or something? How do? Oh. Sorry about before, ain't it? Have a nice day in that. Flip's sake, Mun. He's hardly changed at all. Well, he seems a little nicer. Well, he yeah, seems a little happier, don't you think? Honestly, Mun, you go away for five minutes and the whole fairy race goes to pot. Come again, ain't it? Here's a present like. Hey, we get some ice cream. Nice, nice, nice. Took us long enough to get those two whole stamps there from that guy. Oh well. Alright, let's go get those uh, harvest points and get out of here. If we can go the right way, that'd be gnarly, tubular, radical, mondo, bodacious, righteous, far out, groovy. It's a shame you can't walk around, rock around in your other outfits, uh, like your bathing suit or something like that. You know, you're on a tropical island for hex. I mean, no, I don't want to go back into ma'am. Alright, go the, the long way around, right? Can we even go around to get that damn thing? I think we can. Spent so long, spent so long here that I forgot how to do anything. All right, let's uh. No, okay, yeah, we got. Okay, I see where we gotta go. I was just uh, being an idiot. Damn it, dude! Actually, I think if we can uh. Steal from the uh, spike type there. Let's uh, try that. So I think he has something that I really want. Dang it. Okay, uh, steal from Spikey here. Sturdy Shinbo. Eh, close enough. I think he's the one that has it. Nope, a different, a different one, not him. One of his family members, but not quite him. We'll probably end up getting to that uh, next episode, though, so... Oh, well. Alright, you guys can go run away if you want. I just want these uh, harvest points. Thank you very much. You're greatly appreciated. And we're gonna dash away. Any of you guys remember the uh, Gummy Bears uh, show? Gummy Bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. Hi, adventures that are beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. Dashing and daring, courageous and caring gummy bears. I, love, I used to love that damn show. Magic and mystery are part of their history. I can't carry a tune. Alright, now let's get out of here, shall we? Let's sing in more traveling. Let's see. Actually, you know what? This episode is getting kind of long, so I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, finish up the rest of the um, uh, stuff next episode, along with the bounty hunts. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then. Have a good night. Yeah, I was going to do them, but oh well. Just got a little longer than I expected.
talking to everybody takes forever. 